Hey everyone, welcome back to Socially Discovered. Imagine you're sitting on a flight, cruising smoothly at 24,000 feet, enjoying the view, and then, boom, the roof of the plane rips away in an instant. Passengers are suddenly staring at the open sky, clinging onto their seats for dear life. Sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood thriller, right? But this isn't fiction. This is the terrifying real-life story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243. In today's video, we'll dive deep into this shocking aviation disaster, how it happened, the science behind it, and most importantly, the unbelievable survival story that followed. Buckle up, because this is one flight you won't forget. Now, let's get into it. It was a picture-perfect day in Hawaii. April 28, 1988, started like any other for the passengers and crew of Aloha Airlines Flight 243. The short hop from Hilo to Honolulu was supposed to be a routine 35-minute flight. But what happened next would defy belief and change aviation history forever. Unbeknownst to everyone on board, this aircraft had a hidden flaw. The plane, nearly 20 years old, had endured over 89,000 flights, far more than most planes of its age. The constant pressurization and depressurization cycles had weakened its structure. Tiny cracks had formed, invisible to the eye, but growing with every flight. This was a ticking time bomb, and it was about to explode. At 24,000 feet, cruising over the Pacific, the unthinkable happened. With a deafening roar, the cabin exploded. A massive section of the roof, 18 feet long, tore off the plane. The sky rushed in, and chaos erupted. Passengers were thrown from their seats, debris flew everywhere, and the noise was overwhelming. Flight attendant Clarabel Lansing, who had been standing in the aisle, was sucked out of the plane and vanished into the blue void. The plane was now a convertible, flying at nearly 300 miles per hour with no roof to protect its passengers. In the cockpit, Captain Robert Schornsteimer and First Officer Madeline Tompkins were fighting for their lives. The sudden decompression had damaged the plane's systems, and they were struggling to maintain control. The wind was howling, the noise was unbearable, and the plane was shaking violently. But they had no time to panic. Their only goal, get this plane on the ground, fast. With the cabin exposed to the open sky, the pilots began a rapid descent. Every second counted. The passengers, many injured and terrified, clung to whatever they could. Oxygen masks dangled from the ceiling, and the roar of the wind made communication nearly impossible. But amidst the chaos, there was hope. The pilots were determined to land this plane no matter what. As the plane stabilized after the explosive decompression, the crew and passengers realized someone was missing. Clarabelle C.B. Lansing, a veteran flight attendant with 37 years of experience, had been standing in the aisle serving drinks just moments before the roof tore off. In an instant, she was sucked out of the plane, vanishing into the blue abyss at 24,000 feet. Her absence left a chilling void, both in the cabin and in the hearts of those who knew her. Against all odds, Captain Schornsteimer and First Officer Tompkins guided the crippled plane to Kahului Airport on Maui. As the wheels touched the runway, the passengers erupted in cheers and sobs of relief. But the ordeal wasn't over yet. Emergency crews rushed to the scene, evacuating the injured and assessing the damage. Miraculously, 94 of the 95 people on board survived. After the plane landed safely, Authorities immediately launched a massive search operation to find Clarabelle. The U.S. Coast Guard, along with local rescue teams, scoured the area where the decompression had occurred. They combed the ocean for miles, hoping against hope to find any trace of her. But the vastness of the Pacific, combined with the altitude at which she had fallen, made the search nearly impossible. Days turned into weeks, but no sign of Clarabelle was ever found. The ocean, with its immense depth and powerful currents, had claimed her. The search was eventually called off, leaving her family, friends, and colleagues to grapple with the heartbreaking reality.
Clarabelle Lansing was gone, her body lost to the sea. Clarabelle Lansing's tragic fate was a stark reminder of the dangers faced by those in the aviation industry. Her colleagues and passengers from Flight 243 held a memorial service to honor her memory. They shared stories of her kindness, professionalism, and unwavering dedication to her job. Though her body was never recovered, her spirit lives on in the hearts of those who knew her and in the lessons learned from that fateful day. The investigation that followed revealed shocking truths. The plane's age, combined with the unique stresses of short, frequent flights in a salty, humid environment, had caused severe metal fatigue. The cracks had gone unnoticed, and the maintenance checks had failed to catch them. This disaster led to sweeping changes in aviation safety, including stricter inspection protocols and new guidelines for aircraft aging. The story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is one of tragedy, heroism, and resilience. It serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance in aviation safety. Thanks to the lessons learned from this incident, flying today is safer than ever. But the memory of that day when the sky tore apart at 24,000 feet will never be forgotten. We remember Clarabelle Lansing, the flight attendant who lost her life that day, and we honor the bravery of the pilots, crew, and passengers who survived. Their story is a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. Thank you for watching. If you found this story gripping, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Socially Discovered for more credible tales of survival, heroism, and history. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.